have the authority of the president to address the press on this matter because of the various lies and half-truths. Now, what is fair in a democracy is not for any man, including the president, single-handedly imposing anyone. The fairness of a process is determined by whether or not the candidate at the march is the true choice of the electorate, of the APC members. And that's where the president stands. Now, when you choose to single out at those stage, you are just being unfair. Is it not the same APC where recently uh, the, uh, in Kogi State you have back-to-back uh, -back somebody from one senatorial zone succeeding the other? Why is there no difference? In Benue State, since 1999, you've had only people from one part, one particular language, the thieves, that have produced governors after governors since 1999. Are you about to change the rules? In any case, who are you and I to dictate to Edo, uh, Edo APC members where their candidate must come from? If you impose a candidate, as some of you want to suggest, when you go for the election proper, are you going to tell people to vote based on your own privileged elite concessors of uh, turn by turn democracy? We are not for turn by turn democracy. And I have been in the politics since 2007. I won the election against uh, what PDP considered to be their preferred area. Only the people of Edo State, in this case, at this stage, the people of APC that can nominate the candidate. I have the authority of the president to clarify this. His name should not be used recklessly by people who are afraid of free and fair election. What I am committed to is that in a democracy, majority must necessarily have their way. You, you can't do it otherwise. There is no sentiment about it. Fairness means that the outcome is a reflection of the will of the people. Fairness is not when you are located. The turn by turn democracy kill fairness. So I will stop here to talk if I didn't have that discussion. I need to have that discussion so that Edo people will feel Edo APC at the level of the primaries. We feel free. And let me ask you, in all fairness, is democracy imposing a smaller number on a bigger number? Look at the demographics. I don't like to talk ethnicity because for me that is not it. And I don't really care what some people say, Oshomole say, Oshomole say. Everybody calls to me and say, I need you to endorse me. Please, I'll be loyal to you. And I'm saying, I'm not the project. I work to earn, as I speak, I am not a governor. Right? By the time I had a contested election to the Senate, I have been removed as a national chairman of APC. They could remove me from the office, but they could not remove my fighting spirit. And I'm back because I have my people with me. Some of you recall that at that time they allege that my people from my ward have lost confidence in me. But I went back to the polls, and the people of Edo North reposed confidence in me. So I am used to losers try to find somebody to blame. They come to you the daytime and the nighttime soliciting your endorsement. And when you don't endorse them, then they say you are endorsing somebody. I don't have, don't have a voting right. Even in U.S., you hear of superdelegates. So when Obama back uh, 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 Mrs. Clinton, so was there anything wrong with that? When he advised his then vice president, now the president Biden, Obama still back him. So with manner of democracy, do you know why people have to conduct themselves properly and earn the trust of your constituents when you are in office? It's to ensure that you gain their respect. So when you tell them, go this way, those who look at what you have done before, we say, I think there is wisdom in it. I have worked hard as a minority person myself to win the governorship of a new state without zoning. I'm not a product of zoning. And I contested the election against a general, a retired general from Benin. And the Benin people across the 77 wards voted for me. I didn't need zoning. All I needed was to say my name is Oshomoli. This is what I've done in road infrastructure. This is what I've done in healthcare. This is what I've done in education. This is what I've done in uh, employed teachers. And all of those basic things that people need. And Benin people, in their wisdom, voted for me massively. 
and I got 80 over 18. I defeated even the leaders, PDP leaders in the video local government. I am not a product of zoning. I am not a believer in turn-by-turn -turn democracy. I believe Nigeria will do better when he put his best foot forward. But the important thing is that I have the authority of the president. I can cross check. I told him, can I, sit, can I announce what I discussed, namely whether or not tomorrow's uh, uh, run-up election is based on zoning? And he said, no, no zoning. It's merit and fairness. Fairness is not by individual allocating. Fairness is by the process. Members participating in the direct primaries. The president is a Democrat. And he has given me assurances that makes me happy that only APC members will determine who the flag bearer will be. Because it's they who will carry the burden of the campaigns to get the people to vote. It's where I went to see Mr. President. And uh, it is about the uh, Edo governorship primaries. As I'm sure you know by now, the NWC had reasons or cause to uh, review the governorship primary that was conducted last week as the controversies arising from the conduct of that primaries. And so today, as a, a party member, and of course, the leader of a party in Edo State, I came to discuss some of the issues that I think are relevant, and, and also in order to ensure that the APC family in Edo State, you know, conduct themselves in a manner that the president will be proud of the outcome of the, of the primaries. Because at the end of the day, after the primary, we are going to face the main election. There have been a lot of rumors which I thought the Mr. President should speak to, and uh, I needed some clarification from him because um, as the leader of the party, uh, there are a couple of things that I want to be sure that I know where he stands. Uh, one of them is the issue of zoning. The president has affirmed that he has no voting right in a do state, even though a do state people have voting right to vote for the president. And just for what matters to him, is to ensure that APC members in Edo State, in the direct primaries, participate in a free and fair primaries. That is the decision of the president. There have been rumors in the air that there's probably uh, zoning to one area or zoning to another area. The president said, as far as it's concerned, it's committed only to free and fair primaries, not based on zoning. Because you don't do zoning at the eve of a primary. If they're going to be zoning, those involved in the decision, we have to be so comprehensive that the people of the state, you know, understand it. Number two, if you are zoning, you will not allow people who are not from the particular zone to procure forms. Now, the National Secretariat of the Party is on record as having issued a statement which was widely used to the effect that the APC governorship ticket was open to anyone who is eligible to procure the uh, denomination form, which was why at the end of the day, we have 12 candidates that procured the form. So the key issue in my conversation with Mr. President is that the primary that had been rescheduled for tomorrow to continue uh, is not based on, and will not be based on zoning. It will be based on free and fair primaries. It's a continuation of uh, the exercise that had some challenges arising from uh, an individual proclaiming himself as, uh, as uh, uh, a returning officer, which is completely strange to the rules of the party, which has led to what the media has widely reported as two factions. Imagine. So that's it.